Adobe Premiere Pro, Section 7, Dynamic Link and Exporting. In this video, we'll look at how to make an After Effects composition in Premiere Pro. All right, so if you're kind of an older editor like myself and have been around for a while, you probably remember the days of After Effects where you would make a composition in After Effects, export it as a QuickTime movie or an AVI or MP4, bring it into Premiere, and then when you wanted to make a change, go back into After Effects and do the whole thing again. Take up so much time rendering. But ever since the advent of Dynamic Link many versions ago, that has become obsolete. And what I want to show you in this chapter is how to make your After Effects compositions in Premiere Pro if you want to go that route. Once you know Premiere and you want to get onto After Effects, this is a great way to get you started into it. So, first thing I want to show you is I have my little sequence edited here. I've made a new bunch of clips of some footage I shot around town. Okay. So, I want to put an animated title at the beginning of that. Now I know I have the essential graphics panel, I can do cool titles that way, but I want to show you another way and that's with an After Effects. So rather than closing Premiere and opening After Effects and starting a whole composition, you can simply go to the file menu, go to Adobe Dynamic Link, and we will go to New After Effects Composition. It's going to ask me the settings I want, it will default to my sequence. Right, this is all fine. Click OK. Now After Effects is loading. Now it's going to ask me to save it right away. So I'll call it Title Animation. Save. All right, now I want to stress that this is not an After Effects course. I just want to show you how I'm doing this in relation to Premiere. So I will show you how to do this, but it's not part of any kind of evaluation, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But as you can probably see, and if you've worked with After Effects before, very similar to Premiere. So first thing I'm going to do here is go New, Solid, and I'm going to pick my color. This is similar to choosing a background color in Premiere, so maybe kind of a blue, a dark medium blue. Okay, there we go. And I want to add some text. So go to the text tool. I'm going to call this Summer in Ottawa. I'm going to move it maybe like so. All right. I think I want to add a drop shadow to that. So I just want to get to my effects window. Effect. Do drop shadow. There we go. So you'll notice the effects are applied somewhat the same way as in Premiere, and you have an effect controls panel. So once you get to know Premiere real well, you'll pick up After Effects pretty quickly, I would think. Now, one thing that's cool about After Effects is there are various animation presets built in. So just for the simplicity of what we're doing here, I'm going to add a animator to this maybe something like how about slow fade on so i hold that click and play there we go very cool all right so it's a simple fade on of my title on a blue background now this is 30 seconds long that's going to be way too long for what i need so if i want to change the composition length comp settings Say I make it down to 10 seconds instead. OK. And we save. Now if I go back to Premiere. Ah, here we go. Premiere, I have my new After Effects comp. And you'll see it goes into my bin just like a thumbnail clip. And I can scrub through it and it'll play just like any other video. So I can bring that into my timeline, just like a clip. Maybe I shorten it a bit, like so. And I add a dissolve at the start, and a dissolve in the middle, and save this. Let's just play that through, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it fades on, just like I typed.
little long. I'm just going to trim that back a bit. Like so. Put a dissolve in audio cross dissolve here. Cool. So that's making a new After Effects composition within Premiere. Now, if I didn't like that, I wanted to change something or add something. I can go to either Edit Original. And it's going to pop After Effects back up for me. So I want to add another text line to that. So I'm just going to write, give myself a little credit there. Actually, rather than do that, I'm going to highlight my current text layer, Control D for duplicate, down, give myself a little credit here. So what I'm doing is making a change to my original composition. So now we have this. So when I save this and I go back to Premiere, notice what has happened. Automatically it is updated into my timeline without me having to bring it back from the bin into the sequence. Very cool. So that's one neat thing with After Effects and Premiere Pro. The other thing we can do is take a bunch of clips we have and bring them into After Effects to work with them. So before you'd have to export that as a movie, bring it to After Effects, bring it back in. But now I can highlight all these, go to Adobe Dynamic Link again, and now I go to Replace with After Effects Composition. And look, it's loaded a new sequence for me with all the clips in the timeline, and I can edit them in here, adding special effects, color correction, anything I want. So just for ease of our lesson, I'm going to go to Layer, New Layer, add an Adjustment Layer, same as in Premiere, and I'm going to add a very obvious color effect to this. Infrared. So that's the infrared effect. It's uh, very obvious that we've affected this clip. Save that. And if I go back to Premiere, boom. Look at that. All the footage I selected has been affected here with the infrared clip. And I got my uh, title. And same thing. If I go back to After Effects and I add a text to that, thereby changing it. I'm just going to change that to for red effect. And I'll just move it down here. And once I hit save, back to Premiere, there it is. So anything you do in After Effects using Dynamic Link automatically updates into Premiere Pro. Very, very powerful and useful tool at your disposal now in the Adobe Toolbox. So let's look at how to use an After Effects composition in Premiere Pro and get the most out of it working with the two programs together.